there are a number of different reasons why a dog pants. Some of them are normal, some of them are signs of really serious disease. So if your dog has started panting and you're wonder, wondering why they are panting so much, then I've got the nine main reasons that you need to think about. <coughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from ourpetshealth.com where my aim is to help you and your pet live a healthier, happier life. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if that's something that you're interested in. And I'm going to jump straight into the causes of panting in dogs. And of course, the first reason has got to be that dogs normally pant. So it's not always abnormal. If your dog is exercising, if they're short of breath, if they've been working hard, or if they're getting hot, then panting helps do a couple of things. It helps get more oxygen into the lungs so that that can then be delivered to different parts of the body. And it's also the main way that dogs have of losing heat. So dogs can't sweat and instead they need to pant to lose heat and to stay cool. The next normal reason for panting is if a dog is anxious, if they're um, fearful, if they're nervous, then that's a normal reaction. The, the body kind of kicks in, the, we think of the fight or flight response. So the body is kind of priming itself for having to either fight or to run away. So it's increasing that oxygen delivery to the body so that it's there when it needs it. So if your dog is anxious, if they're nervous, or if they're scared of something, then panting can be a completely normal response response to this. But if you're wondering why your dog is panting so much when these situations aren't the case, and it could be that they're just panting all the time, they're panting when they're resting, then there are a number of different diseases that we need to think about and that it's definitely worthwhile getting to the bottom of so that you can help your dog live their best life possible. And the first of these is breed related problems. So I'm thinking here especially of our brachycephalic dog breeds, our squash nosed dog breeds, but there are other ones as well and they have really narrow airways. So their noses rather than being nice and open, the nose holes are really small. Their throats are also much smaller. They've got lots of extra tissue there and that effectively means they're kind of breathing through a straw. Now, if you try and breathe through a straw while you're running around, you'll find that you'll quickly become short of breath. Now, not only is this a problem because it limits the amount of activity they can take and the enjoyment that they can get from their life, it also means that they're going to be more prone to developing things like heat stroke in the hot weather. So breed problems causing panting is serious. There are potential surgeries that need to be done to correct those problems, you know, which all, all add up. So it's one reason to maybe think about getting or think twice about getting one of these dog breeds. But certainly if you've got a squash nosed dog breed and they are panting all the time, then consider actually the, the way that they're made, their conformation as the cause of that panting. The next reason a dog could be panting so much if it's happening in a certain time period is if they're developing heat stroke. So like I say, kind of panting is a normal way to lose heat. That's normal in all dogs. But if the mouth is fully open, if the tongue is as far out as it can go, if the tongue is actually swollen, if they're drooling as well, then that panting is a sign that the dog is getting too hot, they're developing heat stroke, and steps need to be taken to cool them down very quickly. Pain is also a super common cause of panting in dogs. Things like arthritis um, is a long-term painful condition. It's really, really common. So many of our older dogs suffer from arthritis that really isn't appreciated. So if your dog is panting all the time, I would definitely consider are they in pain? What are their other activity levels like? Are they stiff when they're getting up first thing in the morning? Are they lame? Are they withdrawing from attention? Do they seem a little bit grouchy and snappy? Are they becoming matted in certain areas? Or are they licking one joint all the time? All of those things might be signs that your dog is in pain and that could give you a clue that that is the reason for them panting all the time. So it comes no surprise that the next possible cause of panting is lung disease. So if you've got a lung condition, something like a, a bronchitis, then the ability of the lungs to absorb the oxygen and transfer it into the bloodstream where it then gets used is compromised. It might be that that absorption doesn't take place. It might be that the capacity of the lungs becomes reduced. Uh, and so as a result, your dog has to pant to try and actually maximize the amount of air that they're drawing into their lungs to have that oxygen then transmitted. So chronic bronchitis could be one condition. You could, for example, though, have a, a mass in the chest or fluid in the chest causing a problem with that lung expansion. So lung disease is the next cause of panting. And then after that, we have heart disease. So if the lungs are working okay, but the heart isn't, so the heart isn't pumping blood around the body effectively, then again, your dog is going to naturally start panting just to try and maximize the amount of oxygen that is transmitted 
into the blood. And heart failure can also cause fluid to build up on the lungs, which then makes the lungs more effective as well. So that's kind of a double whammy. So as well as lung disease, we can also have heart disease as a cause of a dog panting all the time, especially if they're panting kind of when they're resting, when they're otherwise kind of still, they're not active, they're calm. If they're still panting, then these can definitely be causes of that. Hormone problems is my second last cause, so especially a condition called Cushing's disease or um, hyperadrenocorticism. So that is an increase in stress hormone in the body. And a common thing that we see with that is a dog who is panting. Now, there are going to be other signs. They're going to be drinking more water. They're going to be um, urinating more, they're going to be producing more urine and peeing as a result of that. They also are going to get quite pot-bellied, they might have thin hair coat, they might get thin skin. So there are a number of other, other things that are going to happen as well as this panting, but Cushing disease can definitely cause a, a dog to be panting all the time. And then anemia is another reason. So if the blood is low in red blood cells, again we're going to have less oxygen being able to be kind of transferred around the body and so panting will be stimulated to try and maximise that, to try and kind of counteract that changes because of the anemia and the low red blood cells. So you can see from all of these causes of a dog panting all the time or if your dog is panting when it's at rest, they all need different treatments, they're going to need different investigation techniques to try and get to the bottom of that. So taking your dog to the vet is very important. It might be that a simple examination is going to help to diagnose that problem. It could be though that blood tests are needed, it could be x-rays, it could be other diagnostic tests need to be run to get to the bottom of that, prop, of that panting. Now this video was in response to a question from Cherie on my Call the Vet podcast whose dog is an older dog who was panting at rest and was also on a grain-free diet. Now if you want to learn about why grain-free diets have recently been linked to heart failure in dogs then check out this video on the screen and also if you've got an anxious dog and you think they're panting because of that then there's another video here that just helps you work your way through that and helps you have a calmer more relaxed dog. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex. This is Our Pets Health, because they're family.